Hello, my name is Dr. Paul Choi. I am the director of Los Angeles Endoscopy Center. I am also a fellow member of American Gastroenterological Association. In this presentation, I'll be discussing gallstone disease. Gallbladder is a hollow pear-shaped organ that is located underneath the liver in the right upper abdomen. Bile that is produced in the liver is stored in the gallbladder. Upon ingestion of fatty food, this bile is released into the intestinal tract to facilitate the absorption of fat. Most commonly, gallstones develop in the gallbladder when the bile contains excessive amount of cholesterol. As a result, the risk of developing gallstone is higher in individuals who are overweight. Other risk factors for gallstones include female sex, age near or over 40, and a family history of gallstone disease. Most individuals with gallstones do not have any symptoms and do not require any treatment. However, patients with known history of gallstones do carry a higher risk of eventual development of cholecystitis, an inflammatory condition of the gallbladder. Cholecystitis develops when the gallstones obstruct the normal flow of bile in the gallbladder. When this occurs, the gallbladder becomes inflamed and swollen. The most common symptoms associated with acute cholecystitis is abdominal pain in the right upper abdomen. This attack may be precipitated by food, especially after a fatty meal. The pain may be constant and severe. At times, the pain may radiate to the right shoulder. There may be fever, chill, and nausea. Most cases of acute cholecystitis can be diagnosed following a careful review of medical history, physical examination, blood test, and abdominal sonogram. In acute cholecystitis, a surgical removal of the gallbladder is often necessary. With the development of laparoscopy, the removal of gallbladder can be accomplished with minimal surgical scars and short recovery time, usually one or two days. Thank you for listening.